please exercise caution as you go about your lives. Uh, please think of the, of the guidance and uh, think of protecting yourself and, and your loved ones. That message critics say undermined by the Prime Minister's own actions last year. The latest photo drip fed to the press, cheese and wine in the Downing Street Garden in May 2020. Those were people uh, at work talking about work. So you were having a work meeting there without laptops, without any notes or paper. Do you normally have wine and cheese at a work those, meeting? Those were people at work. Those were meetings of people at work talking about this is where I live and where I work. Uh, those were meetings of people at work talking about work. So Downing Street isn't just where the Prime Minister works, but where he and his then fiance lives. And that's why she was pictured at that so-called work meeting too. It was a line repeated by various cabinet ministers today. A line not quite believable, say Labour. To suggest that that is a work meeting is a bit of a stretch uh, by anybody's uh, analysis. So I think there are very serious questions to be answered. But just look at the photo and ask yourself, is that a work meeting going on or is that a social event? And I think the answer is pretty obvious. The fear for government undermining COVID measures everyone else is asked to follow. Measures which many in his party say have already gone too far. Measures which this weekend cost him his Brexit minister, Lord Frost. Exposure on another flank for a prime minister whose plan to leave the EU was oven ready, now finding himself defrosted. I left the government because, as I think is well known, I couldn't support certain policies, most recently on uh, Covid restrictions and Plan B. And if you're a minister, you have to support collective responsibility, you have to support decisions of the government, and I couldn't, so that's why I had to leave. Two hours of Cabinet discussions this afternoon ended with no new restrictions or guidance. I tell you what, my blood pressure would be go through the roof if they suddenly announce something and, and we didn't get the chance to discuss it, scrutinise it and vote on it. Are there any circumstances in which you would back further restrictions? I'd like to see Parliament recalled straight away. Uh, I, I would have Parliament back either tomorrow or on Wednesday and the government should update us, even, even if there's no more restrictions to be imposed. Update us on what the situation is. As of tonight, Christmas plans are unchanged. But with five days to go, the Prime Minister's ultimate message is this. We will rule nothing out. Now, of course, we're here talking about possible further restrictions. Let's not forget, less than a week ago, the Prime Minister was hit with a huge rebellion, about 100 of his own MPs, when he tried to impose the last set of restrictions. It only got through thanks to Labour votes. Now, one Tory MP I was talking to today said, a lot of that re rebellion was about giving the Prime Minister a bloody nose. They annoyed him for lots of other things. It wasn't just about further COVID restrictions. They say that you know, if there's another vote, he probably won't have quite the same level of, of opposition if he provides them with evidence. And this is the clear, this is what's key here. There's a growing sense among MPs that they're not being given all the evidence they need. There's a suspicion among some Tory backbench MPs, perhaps more of a hope that when they are presented with the evidence, it will paint a picture that isn't quite as bleak and it won't justify any further restrictions. More importantly, they want to be back in the House as soon as possible to put any questions about it to the Prime Minister himself.